I have this imported data table here and there is this ID field here, but this is not the primary key. So to check if something is a primary key or not, just click on this settings button next to the table and you will see this. So as you can see, we have no indexes. We have this ID, but this is not the primary key. Uh, if it was primary key, this would be ticked here. Now the thing is to create a primary key, you can just click on primary key and click apply. Click apply and primary key will be created. Okay, and it will be shown in this yellow. But usually what we do is this ID field should be automatically added whenever we have a field, right? So let's say if I want to enter something here, right? This ID should automatically become, where is it? Let's go down. So the last one is 100, right? So if I add a new column, Sorry, if I had a new row, this should automatically be brand new awesome one. coding mods. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, we we've got stickers AI for laptops or notebooks, AI's cups, bags, and a lot more. Not Get it today from the link so below. If you have a primary key, uh, usually we also have this auto increment selected. And now click apply again. Click apply. And now whenever you add something to this table, the ID will automatically be created and it will be one greater than the last one. So this is how you can create a primary key in my SQL workbench databases or tables. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.